What's up? I know. I look like a, I look like a child. I shaved. I had to. It'll grow back though, I promise. I'm at the gym right now. I'm doing a chest and leg day. Like I'm trying that out because I skipped legs yesterday. I went to go eat with my family and I splurged. I mean, I had a fat burger, like, you know, some loaded fries, Cajun style. And then I had ice cream after, as if the burger and fries wasn't enough. But yeah, I've gone dumbbells only on chest days for the past month straight. I'm gonna try barbell today, see if I can get a heavy single. I don't know what I'll get, and I might even be able to get a clip of that. So we'll see. Also wanted to let you know, there's nothing wrong with doing chest and legs. Like, you might have, like, if you skip a day and you don't feel like just completely ignoring it, just add it to another one of your workouts. Do a couple exercises. Your muscles aren't gonna just deplete because you skipped a day, and then they're also not gonna double in size if you add them. So it's like, it's do what you want, you know? Doing more is not always better, but doing less won't make any progress. So it all depends on how you're feeling. If you're feeling good, you might as well just eat a little bit more. But I just wanted to let you know what is going on. No, I don't. But they're not that big anyway, so I'll give you that.
workout is finished. And before you ask me, Camden, what headphones do you use? Vankyo Sisterio 750. These are amazing, they're noise canceling. I don't know how expensive they are because I got them for free from a, a company called Lost Loots on Instagram. They're pretty dope. Anyways, it was a really long workout, I'll tell you what. I was waiting three minutes between every set, but it was great. I, I got a good juicy pump. Y'all saw me max out on bench. It's not really my max, but I didn't want to get injured today. I didn't really feel like that would be good for content. Um, then the legs, I only did two exercises. And that's all you really need. I mean, obviously, more volume will build more muscle, but I like to train like pretty short and intense. The workout is better for me whenever I do shorter, intenser workouts. Intenser is not a word, but you get it. Anyways, now I'm going to go home real quick, eat something. I don't know, it'll be it'll probably be like a little carb. And then I'm gonna go to Walmart and get some groceries. I don't know if I'll be able to film in there, but I will show you what I got. All right, so peace out for now. All right, back with the groceries. I will unwrap all of these and let you know what I got. All right, so I got them all out of the packaging. Bags, whatever. Get rid of that. No one uses those. All right. Okay, so we start off with the sweets and savory. Peanut butter Jif is still on recall at my store, I guess. So we get Skippy. Kind of sucks. This is a lifesaver. Like, it's literally 80 calories per piece. And there's uh, six servings. It's pretty solid. I put it on my oatmeal or in my oatmeal half the time. It's really good. Got the sugar-free syrup. This isn't the kind that I usually get. I usually get five calories. 15 calories per serving is not bad. Got the fruits. These are essential. I love gala apples. Organic bananas. They're pretty good when they're ripe. And then we got the wheat section. I love these tortillas. Look at that. 45 calories. Definitely worth it. Not that expensive. And you get a lot of them. Of course, we got the bread. This is also essential for my French toast. 35 calories per slice. Love it. Got the meats. I don't usually eat chicken out of a bag, but this stuff's pretty handy whenever I'm in a rush. We got three ounces for 110 calories. Really solid, got two bags of that. Got the egg whites. I eat egg whites every morning. Everybody knows it's a low calorie. Definitely comes in clutch. Almond milk. I make my coffee with it. I put it in my oatmeal, I put it in my ice cream, protein shakes, anything that requires dairy, I usually use this, or this. Favorite, vanilla yogurt, and then I get these because I bring them to work. They're really convenient. That's basically all I ever get at the store. If I'm ever in a baking mood, I'll get more stuff, but yeah. That's basically it. I will see you around. What's up guys, it's the next day and I'm about to hit my back workout. But before I do that, I just want to know, if you're watching this and you follow me on TikTok or Instagram and you're not working out yet, I need to ask you something. What's holding you back? Is it the fear of being judged or never being where you want to be? Your expectations are so out of reach. I understand. We've all been there. I started at 14 and I was a stick. Okay, I didn't get judged for how I looked back then. I got judged for how I acted. But now look at me. I feel like I've inspired a, a few people to, you know, get into the gym culture. And it's a big deal. The gym culture is a whole new realm. Like, you have people who are in the highest tier and, like, have the best genetics. Don't compare yourself to them. Look up to them, you know. Be supportive of what they've done for everybody in the community. But wherever you're at, just think about this you can only get better if you're focused on yourself you look in the mirror every day that's the only person that matters to you at the moment of course you can look at other people and compare yourself in a positive way it's constructive criticism hating on yourself for no reason just because you aren't gifted with these godly genetics shouldn't be holding you back so i just wanted to say that if you haven't started yet, why not? That's that's my only question. 
I believe in everybody who starts because once you once you enter the fitness community, you're at the bottom tier and you're comparing yourself to other people who are your age and your build, not these older people who have better genetics. That's not your competition. Your competition is yourself and maybe people who look like you. So, get up and go to the gym!